On the ninth day of lean, Miss and Lean Squirt gave to me one recovery. What did you just sing there? Jingle all the way. We are back for another day. And that rhymed, didn't it, Hudson? He's excited. The Christmas way. Squatties, welcome back. As you can see, Hudson just woke up from his nap somewhere. I had the monitor. It is lost in the chaos. But anyways, I was working up here. Brody is downstairs resting because she's got two babies in that belly. Two babies. And on the theme of rest, comes with recovery. Those are two of the key ingredients to success over the long term and far too many people underestimate how significant recovery actually is. So today, I am giving you the gift of leanness with a twist of recovery. So we're just gonna go through a quick recovery routine that you can use to help your muscles regenerate, recover, rebuild, and still keep those energy levels high and keep those endorphins flowing because that really is what the leanness is all about. Even when I was playing professional rugby, we would always do an active recovery. Instead of doing absolutely nothing, a lot of times you're better to do just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. You don't want to do a full blown workout six, seven times a week. No, 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 you definitely want to enjoy your rest days, but you can also do a little activity, walks, some active stretching, all that good stuff. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it right now with Hudson. Oh, he's a little sneezy. He's a little sneezy, but we were getting straight into it. Oh my gosh, and I nearly forgot to say. If you don't like and subscribe, he is just gonna continue on singing. So please, like and subscribe. Otherwise, you're gonna hear that voice all day long. Cause you'll remember that you didn't do it. You didn't give the gift of leanness. And Hudson's voice is just gonna repeat in your head. So, like, subscribe, save this workout, and... Oh, are you joining in? Well, well, we're getting on with it. Roll through the exercises. Roll them through them. Every, just follow me. Follow me. Maybe follow Hudson. We're going to see how this one goes. First things first is groin stretch. We're going to sit on one side for the 30 second or 15 seconds. Sorry. Wow, his voice is louder than mine. Here we go. Follow me. That's all you need to know. Three, two, one. And we're holding the groin stretch. Holding the groin stretch right here. And then in 10 seconds, we're gonna switch sides. So this is like a static stretch. You never wanna do your static stretching before your workout. You wanna do it on your recovery or after your workouts. Two, one, switch sides. Hi, Daddy. What is up, Hudson? Is Daddy recovering? No. What? Yeah. No. In three, two, one, we're gonna drop down into the downward dog. So downward dog is just through. Oh. <laughs> Through and back through. This is a little harder, but this is what we want to do. So this is a little flow. This is different than the static stretching. <laughs> We've got 15 seconds to go. Really stretch out the back, those calves. You're engaging some of your muscles. You're getting some good blood flow back through them too. One, and now we're gonna sit on up whoop, and go straight into a hip flexor stretch. So our hip flexor here is my right leg with the knee on the ground and I'm pushing it forward. So right here, and we're gonna switch in two, one, other leg, just like that, and you're pushing your hip flexor forward. So you really wanna stretch it, elongate it, again, get some blood flow back through because your muscles and your hip flexors can get tight if you're doing your sprinties. Two, one, we're gonna flick our left leg out and go hamstring hold, whoa. There we go, we're just going hamstring hold. We're actually gonna hold this one for 30 seconds. That's your doggy? Billy. Does Billy wanna join in the workout? No. No? He does no workout. He, he does his other workouts? Well, if anyone wants to follow Hudson and Billy for their workout routine, you think you got a YouTube set up? Yeah, he's got a YouTube channel. You got Instagram? Two, one, switch leg. So that was a long 30 second hold, static stretch. Wow, why don't you show everyone on camera? 
Again, we're doing the other leg here, stretching out that hamstring. So these hip flexors, hamstrings are all super important muscles to running, to staying fit. So you want to make sure we take care of them whenever possible. And little routines like this will go a long way down the road. Whoa! Oh no! Up, up, up! Quick! We've got a new exercise! We've got a new exercise! Two! One! We're going alt knee hugs! What's up? Oh, don't do it? I'm sorry. So we're just bringing our knee up to our chest, standing up nice and tall. You can even pop up on the ball of your feet there. And again, this is just activating those muscles if they're a little tight. Whew. Five seconds. Now, if you have a little elevated surface around you like a couch, two, one, you're gonna do the hamstring floss. Hudson's underneath, underneath, jump under the bridge. And we're just spinning on top. We're gonna to stay on this one leg. Now, if you don't have one, I just want you to hold the hamstring stretch on the ground there. Woo! And you'll just hold it like this, just like that, and you can do the same motion. I like doing it elevated. Oh, you gotta go underneath. You gotta go underneath. Duck, duck, duck. And we're again, active stretch, but a little bit of movement. Two, one, under the bridge. Switch legs. There we go, squatties. Hey! Oh. Hey! <laughs> Under the bridge. After this, we're going to quad stretch in 15 seconds. What's up? What's up? Oh, what happened? Oh, you got the band? Are you going to show everyone how you use it? Five seconds to go. Okay, two. One, the door's using it. We're going quad stretch. Now, if you need to balance on something, feel free. Hudson works great. Or you can use a countertop. The choice is yours. Yeah, this is the last one. Last, say last one. Yeah, we've got about 15 seconds to go. And I'm pulling this heel towards my butt, keeping that torso up nice and And the cool thing about this one is it works as stabilizers in our left leg that's balanced, that we're balancing on, which is really good, as well as stretch out those quads. Three, two, one. This is the last 30 seconds. Can you do this? Balance beam. We practice it all the time. Switching legs, last 30 seconds, last stretch. And you can repeat this twice for a total of 10 minutes. As you can see, Hudson wants to hop outside, so we're going to be done in 15. Remember, if you guys get this done, be super proud. It's another day of movement, and you're taking care of your body. That's what these active recovery sessions are. You don't have to do them, but they are great if you can make time. Two, one. That is another day done. Like I said, you can do this twice. All done. Let's say bye to everyone. Bye bye, everyone. Say Merry Christmas. Or Mary Lean Miss. Mary Lean Miss. Bye guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, save the workout, and if you haven't already done so, give yourself the gift of leanness by planning to do your own six week lean challenge because in 2020, what are we doing? We are doing amazing things and by being healthier, fitter, and more confident, you are going to be accomplishing things you never thought possible. Isn't that right, Hudson? Goodbye. Goodbye. Woo!